the highest of heights to the depths of the sea. <laughs> Creations revealing your majesty. Uh, all exclaiming, indescribable, uncontainable. You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okwe. And if you just joined us for the first time, welcome coming um, today I am going to be doing my makeup I really don't know the look I'm trying to create but then I'll try to um, do something really like a soft glam so let's start but before I start if you have not subscribed click the button so that we can create more fun together and grow together so having said that let's start I don't know I'm dancing I only get hype for you guys. Trust me. Two seconds ago, I was like half dead. <laughs> so I'm going to be starting my transition with this yellow color. I feel like I want to create like a pinkish eyeshadow color. I don't know. Anyhow, this thing turns out. You guys should just if you feel bad, like rotting you'll see. <laughs> I feel like starting your transition with yellow just gives it that pain. I really can't explain it to be honest. Especially on dark skin girls. You guys know that. Yellow and melanin is like a dream come true. <laughs> I just used my festival palette. So I think I'm going to be taking most of my transitions from there. So I'm going in with a deeper pink stroke wine-ish. Just to deepen my crease. You are amazing, God. So I'm just cutting my crease. I usually don't do this, but I've been loving it lately, so why not? I'm just going to diffuse the edges because I want like an half. I'll be a half. I'm just deepening it down. Blow out that line for people that find it difficult to wear lashes. I always hold my lashes like I hold it really close to the center, like the band, and then I place it right in the center of my lid. So I'm taking it up, I'm pulling using it to press down my real lashes. So up and place it center first. Once you place it in center, the two sides are open, so you just clip two sides to yours. As close to your lash line as possible. So make sure you push it to your skin very well and be sure that it's not on your false lash, it's not on your real lashes. Okay, all well, good. Voila. So I'm color correcting with my NYX. So I'm mixing Zaron 40 and 45. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. I'm going to explain this highlighting. I usually put the highlights and let it sit for about like three to five seconds. That way it's not just liquidy. Do you understand? So when you're doing it, and again, I blend the little part first, like the part that I don't really need that much coverage. So like my chin, uh, top of my lip and my forehead. I usually don't highlight my forehead. I don't even know why this is highlighted right now. So my forehead is already humongous on its own. It doesn't need any more help. For your under eye, you have to blend from the outer side, so like from here first, before it gets up here. I know I've said this several times, but then for people that are watching this video for the first time, that way, you when you start blending, you don't take off products from the outside, and then, I mean from the inside, and then you have more coverage on the outside. But because you need more coverage directly under your eye, always take out from, start blending from the outside. So usually I will blend like this first, so that way you can share out and then here I just pass upward. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. I bring it to the size of my nose a bit. It helps to slim your nose. So it kind of cuts out this part and makes it seem like it's part of your under eye. That way your nose has a slimmer effect or a slimmer look. Mm -hmm. See how we look well blended. No craziness anyway. So I'm going to be contouring my face with this hair and this type of stuff. So for your contour, usually the best place, no matter your face shape, is to start from the top of your ears and like an inch towards inwards your mouth. So yeah, that way it kind of lifts your. Unlike what you people see, that you just draw a line. That's not the ideal way. Okay. If you really want to have that high 
lifted cheekbone. The top of your ears is your best bet. So I take it down my jaw because I've chopped up so nothing. Hide this whole place then. My humongous forehead obviously. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. No wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. Oh, the overwhelming. So, this is me. I have returned dimension and color to my face. So I'm going to be setting my face with my Danisa Marix number three powder. So to set your powder, you look up, usually I have creases already because obviously concealer is liquid, it moves, you get. So it cannot just stay like that. So you'd have to erase the liquid, um, the lines, the creases and then set your powder. If you set it directly like this, your powder is going to have creases and your makeup is going to crack. So I'll usually look up and then press the powder upward. That's why I'm sure that I don't have lines or anything. And then you have to get the size of your nozzle. Especially if you have oily skin, you are very likely to have oil build up there. The best way to contour your, your face and have a flawless finish that you don't have to blend after is to just blend while you're applying. So usually I don't just apply products and leave. So while I'm applying, the best your best bet is to apply it in a circular motion. That way you blend at the same time and it kind of it has a flawless finish. You don't have lines everywhere. So if I was to do my contour, usually I'll just blend as I apply. That way everything just melts into each other. Never ending, reckless love of God. And you only you begin to see shadows and illusions basically and not lines and precision. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. You don't want to be like okay I can see a contour. You want to see the effect of me having a slimmer face but not my lines. I hope you guys understand me sha. If you don't understand send me a DM <laughs> and if you understand me like this video. So I always go in with this one first and then intensify with I put more intensity here than here because I don't want to have dark cheeks. So I always add more intensity here. Do you understand? So it kind of slims my face from the outside, not like you have marks on your face. So you have to be careful. And I put the intensity here because if you actually see people that have um, high cheekbones, those with their face are, their faces are already naturally contoured. There's this really deep dark part here it's not like it's obvious but then it's it, it kind of their high cheekbone causes their face to cast a shadow here so that's why i put more intensity here because i'm trying to mimic a high cheekbone that i do not have if you have a short nose like mine your best bet is to connect your contour to your eyebrows if you have a longer really long long nose your best bet is to connect it to your crease i hope you understand me You don't have to use a certain powder to reverse contour. I'm using a press powder. I found leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. This just cleans your contour and really give you that high cheekbone you want. Please don't leave the line like that. You have to blend the line away. If you reverse contour, it's better to use a powder that's closer to your skin tone. If not, it's gonna be difficult to blend that line away. I'm using the Ewa Ron Care um, Highlight Palette. Still, you gave yourself away. Oh, oh the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. So, guys, this is the final makeup look. So, I just want to get my hair in order and I shall be back. <laughs> so, guys, this is the final look, and thank you guys for watching. I actually recorded a video on 
how to tie turbans yeah i think that's about it if you're not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment i love you guys thanks for hanging out with me again i'ma see you in my next video so let's go to the slow mo oh yeah by the way i changed the lip i know this not the lip i started with i wasn't feeling the dark lips so i went with a pinky nude so yeah and you guys know team glossy for life anyways bye catch you later kisses our creation will shout your name for you are god by yourself oh god you are god by yourself oh for who you I bless your name, oh God, for who you are. I worship you, for you are God of my yourself. Oh God, oh God, you're God of my yourself.